PlayStation 5 Pro. Do we even need one? Before we continue, I would like to ask for your like and subscription to the channel as this will help me a lot to create more videos for you. Thank you very much. There have been a lot of rumors regarding the PS5 Pro recently. One of them comes from a very reputable tipster, Tom Henderson. The thing is, the PS5 is already a powerful gaming machine. However, Sony has not been pushing the hardware to its limit. That is, the PlayStation 5 has a lot of untapped potential in it. And that's why the tipster believes we will have the same gaming console in disguise as a whole new machine. Do we really need a PlayStation 5 Pro? Yes, a more powerful machine, which could be the PS5 Pro, makes a lot of sense for PlayStation fans. For example, if you were to run the God of War Ragnarok at 4K and 60fps, you would need to compromise the visuals to a massive degree. And it is not just applicable to the God of War. The case is pretty much the same for the other titles. Another great example would be Horizon Forbidden West. If you were to run it at a high resolution, you would have to be stuck with 30 FPS. Now, 30 FPS on the PS5 is not bad, but it is not as smooth as 60 FPS. Basically, the promise of experiencing true 4K 60 FPS gaming was not properly delivered by the PS5. But it's not just applicable to PlayStation 5. Even the Xbox Series X cannot deliver. And considering this, a more capable machine, PS5 Pro, makes sense. However, the regular PS5 has a lot of untapped potential, and Sony is holding back from unlocking it to create hype for the PS5 Pro. At least, that is what our take is on the current matter. PlayStation 5 could be more than what it is. The titles mentioned work on both the PS5 and PS4. The games have been engineered to be playable on both generations of consoles. However, on the PlayStation 5, the experience is much smoother and the visuals are more impressive. Keeping that in mind, it could be argued that the games were held back from reaching their highest graphical potential on the PlayStation 5. But do not stick to this opinion as it is very unlikely to be true. But it's also important to note that Sony would likely pitch the PS5 Pro as a somewhat niche machine designed for the most enthusiastic gamers. It would be a product for players who want the highest possible resolution with the most stable frame rates and wouldn't be designed to replace the standard PS5 hardware. Of course, for now, all reports and leaks on the matter should be taken with a large dose of skepticism. As of yet, nothing official has come from Sony, and a PS5 Pro may not ultimately see the light of day. Well, that's it for now. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave your like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.